Hi everyone, this is Cody, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a review of the Husqvarna 125B leaf blower. Okay, so starting up on this end, it's a very slim design, which is nice. Uh, it makes it very comfortable for holding it. On the left side here, you just have your recoil housing, which works really well. There's lots of nice touches, like this has a thing, so it always goes back in uh, like that, and it doesn't slide around easily. So your spark plugs here, carburetor adjustment there. Uh, it's got an off switch. Now one thing you need to know about the, turn, the switch that turns it off, when you press it, it stays active for seven seconds to turn the engine off if it's running so you don't have to hold it. But that can confuse you if you try to start it again within those seven seconds, it's not gonna start. So after you press that, wait seven seconds before you try and start it again. So it's got cruise control here. Uh, which is nice. And on the other side, you've got your fan. Now, a lot of blowers have the fan on that side. And me being the right-handed person, it's much nicer to have it on this side so it's not going to eat your pant leg or something. Um, and also, the tube goes in in line with the handle there, which is nice. And then, as you can see here with the carburetor, you've got your primer bulb, choke, uh, it actually does adjust the throttle to what you need it to be with the different levels of choke, so that's cool. Um, and then it's got a gas tank here, uh, nice lid actually. Then up on this end, you've got two nozzles. You've got the flat nozzle, which will do 170 miles per hour. Um, and then you've also got this nozzle, I forget what it does, uh, not quite as much. It's kind of a more accurate nozzle, but from my experience it doesn't work quite as good unless you need that specific thing. And then this is a height adjustment, so you, if you lock it in here, it's a little shorter, or it's a little longer, and then you can also lock it in there. Um, so yeah, this is a pretty good blower. It is 470 CFM, and it has a 28cc engine. And it's actually lighter uh, than this other 25cc blower that I have. Let me compare it with it. Okay, so as you can see, this one is really thin. This thing is huge. Um, it's like this wide versus this wide. Um, and this is actually like six pounds heavier, <laughs> approximately. So, uh, and it's got the fan on kind of the wrong side, unless you're unless you're left-handed, so um, it really does help to get a quality blower. Red Max actually makes a pretty much identical blower to this, and as you probably know, Red Max is a, a nice company for lawn equipment. Uh, so this is actually a really nice blower. So let's start it up and see how it runs. So this is a completely cold start. Stick my hand on the exhaust. It's cold, actually. <laughs> um, so let me adjust the camera and then we'll do this. Okay, so you put it on full choke, which is all the way over here. Prime it ten times. Okay, so ten. And then you don't squeeze the throttle because it automatically does that for you. And when it starts, you stick it on half choke, let it run a bit, and then stick it on run. So. And it runs great. Okay, I don't really have much to blow right now. Uh, there's not that many leaves yet, but I'll just blow some of the junk off my driveway. So for a warm start, there's two ways you can do it. You can stick it on half choke and pull it until it starts or you can uh, have on no choke and hold the throttle. So, I'll show you both. And as you can see, both ways work fine. Um, so now I'm gonna just blow off this little bit of the driveway.
Okay, so as you can see, it wasn't running perfectly there, uh, but that's pretty easy to fix. I've just got an electrical connector thing on the end of a Phillips screwdriver, and that will fit over those carburetor screws pretty pretty easily. So. Okay, so as you can see, I made a little bit of a mess here, so I'm just going to clean it up with a leaf blower. Okay, so uh, as you can see, the thing works great. Um, but yeah, this is a great unit. Um, you will need to probably, unless you get it new, uh, mess with the carburetor adjustments a little bit to get it running perfectly. Uh, the cruise control is nice. It's, uh, it's really easy to start, but it still has really good compression. Um, I actually, this thing costs about 120, not 120, 150 on Amazon. Uh, it's retail, it says, is 160 um, So, I got this one at a garage sale for $25. Bucks. Uh, the guy said it wouldn't, wasn't working. Uh, and I basically just... Well, the fuel lines were put on wrong, so I had to redo them and put them on correctly. And I cleaned out a bunch of junk in the carburetor. And now it runs great. Um, it runs on a 50 to 1 fuel mixture. Uh, gas and oil uh, but yeah this is a really good blower it's exactly what I was looking for uh, so I'm really happy with it the air filter actually that's one thing I don't know if I like or not it's um, it's a paper filter as you can see here so eventually you're gonna have to replace it uh, the foam ones you can seem to clean a lot and they don't need replacing that much they say you can actually clean this one uh, but I don't know how well that will work but I prefer the foam filters, but this seems to work good as it is. Uh, it's actually set up really nicely and easy to use. Um, it's a category 2, uh, 70 decibels, so it's not actually all that loud. So anyway, uh, hopefully you liked the video. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you all in the next video.